Well, it seems that the trailer for the woke, liberal, SJW, live-action, so-called remake of The Little Mermaid is not only being disliked in the millions, but actually earning a record in Hollywood for essentially being the most disliked trailer ever, pretty much. It's insane. But hey, it's what happens when you essentially are pandering to an ideology, the woke, liberal, SJW ideology, and race-swapping the character to pander to, you know, various demographics. It's the result, but hey, they don't learn their lesson, do they? says here on the article on Pirates and Princesses, uh, dot net, says Little Mermaid trailer earns most dislikes for any Hollywood film. Oh, by the way, if it sounds like I'm sick, I still am getting over a bit of, bit of a cold, so, yeah. But notice that, most dislikes for any Hollywood film. Yeah. And of course, they're blaming the racist trolls for flooding the comment section of this whole thing. You know, instead of just accepting the fact that, you know, maybe stop pandering to an ideology, maybe produce actual entertainment instead of liberal propaganda. In the article, it says, less than the week of its announcement for the trailer for the upcoming live-action remake of 1989 anime classic Little Mermaid has gained over 2 million dislikes on YouTube, uh, making it the most disliked film trailer for any North American movie. Hey, you go woke, you go... Well, they're going to go broke with this one, so yeah. Uh, testament to the saying, you go woke, you go broke. Continuing on. The trailer currently has almost 16 million views and 755,000 likes, but also has an, an astronomical 2 million dislikes, higher than any other film trailer for any major Hollywood release. For the longest time, people thought that no film could surpass the 2016 Ghostbusters trailer, which currently sits at 1.6 million dislikes, but here we are. Well, is it any much of a shocker when you are busy race swapping the character of the uh, Danish fairy tale? Yeah. Continuing on, the only other film trailers that scores a higher dislike ratio than The Little Mermaid are Netflix's controversial 2020 French film Cuties with 2.4 million dislikes, which The Little Mermaid might pass, and the 2020 Disney Plus Holo Star film Static 2 with 14 million dislikes as a result of a controversial death surrounding a Bollywood actor, Sushant Singh Rajput. I hope I'm saying that right. Well, yeah. They're setting a record, but not in the way they thought. <laughs> Continuing on. The controversy surrounding the live-action remake of The Little Mermaid came weeks after the release of a live-action remake of Pinocchio, a film heavily criticized by both critics and audiences, and many longtime Disney fans are starting to feel the LAR live-action remake fatigue at the moment of both an, uh, both an LAR of Snow White and The Seven Dwarfs and the prequel to the 2019 Lion King remake are in development, but uh, very few people seem to be excited. Many outlets will try to dismiss the criticisms as simply racism, which might account for a small amount of the backlash, but there's plenty of evidence to suggest that the majority of the criticism is from people who are tired of Disney making LARs of almost every one of their animated films with how few classic films they are they have left uh, pretty soon. They'll be remaking movies like Bolt, Brother Bear, and Meet the Robinsons. Yeah, at some point they'll have to remake the, the uh, what's that film called, Chicken Little. That'd be fun to see that a live action remake of that one. Um, but they're going to run out of IPs eventually. They're going to have to remake some of their later films, like basically 2D animation films, into live action. That'd be hilarious to see. But hey, you know, woke liberal SJW Disney is demonstrating that they are out of creativity and all they can do is just basically milk out, you know, some stuff from their older IPs, which actually were successful. And again, you know, they, they dismiss the criticism of racism. Well, you know, maybe people have a problem with the fact that the Danish fairy tale of The Little Mermaid is being race swapped to just pander to a certain audience. And there are even, you know, black people who are criticizing it as well. So, you know, I guess are they self hating or something like that? It's a bunch of garbage. But hey, they, I, I personally think they sometimes will do this as a way to try to silence criticism, as in, oh, if you criticize this, you must be a racist, you know? You know, and you must hate the actor because she's black, not because it's a soulless cat, not not because it's a soulless soulless cash grab, but oh, because you hate her because she's black. It's a bunch of garbage, but hey, it's now to be unfortunately expected from woke liberal SJW feminist, you know, the feminist propaganda wing known as Disney. So anyway, wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.